let's talk about trimming a boat for top speed. The thing that you have to overcome is all of this fiberglass dragging in the water. Let's talk about the line of thrust. So just draw a line right through, through your stern drive. And think of this as a lever, all okay? right? Right now, if you engage the throttle in this position, the thrust goes that way, pushes on the boat, wants to push the bow up. I, I know this is very over-exaggerated. You want to get the least amount of drag as possible on the hull. So you start trimming this slowly up. At some point when you're trimming up, one of two things or both will happen. You start to trim up, at some point the propeller will catch air and the engine will start to rev. Usually about that time or just before that time, the boat will start to porpoise a little bit. And this particular boat runs the fastest when it has that little oscillation, that little bit of porpoise to it trim up versus trim down in this boat is 12 mile an hour difference. With this boat, just the stern drive all the way in the down position, running across the lake, wide open, 50 mile an hour. Trim up, get the hull out of the water, this boat runs 62 mile an hour. This is a big difference. This holds true on most boats. Uh, all boats are different um, from model to model of a manufacturer. The boats are different. So learn your boat. Um, get out there, play with it if you haven't. Uh, I just want to talk about different boat manufacturers for a second. Um, different boat manufacturers, different hulls, they run differently. Uh, this particular boat, very stable on top end. Um, especially trimmed out when going for max speed. Um, some of your cheaper knockoff boats, and we won't mention no names here, um, can be pretty interesting to say the least on the top end. Um, I know one that I ran a couple years ago for a friend of mine. Um, we got it out. It's a smaller boat than this. This is 22 foot. His was 18 footer. This has the 260 horse in it. His had the 270 or 75 horse mag in it. His boat should have been faster than this. Trimmed out, it ran the same top end speed. The big difference though, was the ride. That boat was scary, to say the least, on top end with it trimmed out. This one, you ride all day long trimmed out top end and it's stable so just because they look similar doesn't mean they're created equal uh, let's talk about some of your older outdrives uh, specifically Volvo Penna and I think even some of the old OMC stuff that doesn't have the trim cylinders on it that doesn't have these where you have the trim pin that goes in down here that's always a compromise. You can trim that drive for a good top end speed, but it's gonna have a horrible takeoff out of the hole and, and, and coming up on plane. Vice versa, you bring the pin down, bring the drive down low, and it's gonna be great out of the hole, but you're gonna sacrifice the top end. One other thing to consider, um, and if you're that guy that just goes out and puts the button all the way down till this stops moving. When you do that, there's no rubber stops or anything in the system. When you bump the trim up, even, even if you just bump it up a little bit, then all the, all the thrust and all the, all the vibration is riding on the hydraulic cushions of the cylinders. And they're designed for that. If you just drop this down and all the way down, in any one of my boats, I can always tell when the drive is all the way down because you can a little bit of vibration in the hull. And 
when you bump it up just a little bit, just enough so that these come off the stop, so they're the, it's up a little bit. And just about every Merc Cruiser, you'll notice a little less vibration. And that's because it's riding on a cushion of fluid in these cylinders that absorb any of the vibration from the propeller and from the drive. Till next time, sorry about the wind. I gotta remember what the kids say. I think it's torpedo that subscribe button, sync that like, and sound that alarm so you get our notifications. And feel free to comment on anything you'd like to see. See ya.